Hello and welcome to today's session on VEX V5 pneumatics. My name is Rob from Steam Labs and pneumatics are kind of a, a sought after part, I would guess, in a VEX world because these have been out of stock for such a long time. I recently saw six sets of the double acting cylinder kits which arrived a few weeks ago and I've got the newer VEX V5 pneumatics kits kind of pre-ordered and I'm expecting them to arrive around early August. Now in today's video we are going to be having a look at how you can set up the older SMC pneumatics kits. Lots of uh, resources and kind of videos that I found online for my teams date back to the days of using them with EDR. So we're going to be having a look at the setup of the SMC pneumatics kits today, how to program them and some things to look out for. So without further ado, let's get started for today's video on VEX V5 pneumatics. As I mentioned at the beginning of today's video, this is going to be focusing on the SMC pneumatics double acting cylinder kit, which is manufactured by SMC. Now, probably the most useful thing that I found so far is this image on the VEX Robotics website where they sell pneumatics. And this shows you how to actually set up the double acting cylinders with the reservoir. Now, when I switch over to my GoPro in a minute, you're going to see a similar setup, probably a little bit more messy than what you're seeing in this image here. But to actually begin with, I want to head over to Knowledge Base and look at where I've managed to find information to help my teams. So there are going to be some key words, key components that you need to be aware of over here. So this is our air storage unit, which they call the reservoir. This supports, I think, 300 PSI, but for it to be VEX legal, we can only have 100 PSI of air pressure inside this reservoir. Over here, we've got our Schrader tire pump valve, as well as our reservoir fitting. This is what our tubing is going to be connected to, and this is going to be how we're going to get our air into the reservoir itself. Going down here, it talks about the different fittings that you can use to attach the reservoirs to your robot. One of the things to mention with the newer kits is they've actually got brackets designed, so really looking forward to those arriving. Also, it's explaining here how you can use Teflon tape, and personally, I haven't experienced this issue. I haven't had any leakage whatsoever with these new double acting cylinder kits, but they're saying Teflon tape can help to resolve any leakage. And then going down further in the article, it's going to start referring to some of the key components. So if we go back across to this image here from the VEX Robotics website, we've got that T fitting. And what this is allowing us to do is have multiple pistons activated, which are set up with a single reservoir. So this here is going to be a key component for you. Also, we've got our pressure regulator here. So how much pressure do we want to let out of our reservoir each time we press one of the controller buttons. And this probably most important thing with the double axis cylinder kit is going to be our on off switch. So when you are putting air into the cylinder, you're going to want to have this in the off position. And then when you're ready to actually start a match for over under, you're going to want to change this to the on position. Now it's going to be some other key components down here. You're going to be able to find the solenoid driver, which is going to be required if you want to actually program your pneumatics kits, as well as the different fittings, which you can also see here, which I'll kind of refer to in a moment. Again, a very, very useful article. Now, I'm going to head over to my GoPro now, and I'm going to kind of move my hands out of the way, and hopefully you can see the setup here. I'm using a Makita pump, and one of the reasons I'm using this is because it's got a built-in LED screen. When we have this connected to the reservoir down here, we can see how much pressure or how much air is there still in the reservoir once we have filled it up. Again, this is a similar setup to what you can see on the VEX Robotics website, but it is a little bit more messy. And I'm going to refer to this first piston which I'm holding up here. So notice these fittings here. 
I don't remember the keyword for this, but I know that you probably will. The tubing which is going into the top, okay, is connected to this gold fitting here. But on the other piston, I have it the opposite way around. So air is going to go into this tubing at the top. And when we release the button on the controller, this is what is going to send the piston back down. So this is going to be our outwards movement and then our inwards movement here. That is going to be opposite for the other piston which I'm holding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my battery. I'm going to power on my brain. I have this programmed already in C++ and I'll walk you through that programming in a minute. I'm also going to turn on my Makita pump. And what I'm now going to do is, now I've got this connected onto reservoir, I'm going to put 100 PSI of air pressure into this tank. Now, this is currently set at around 114 PSI. I do need to slightly reduce this if I want this to be legal within the over under season. Something also to mention with the newer VEX Robotics Pneumatics kits, the reservoirs can actually support 150 PSI and that is legal for the over under season. I don't think they've changed the amount of PSI or the amount of air pressure for the older SMC pneumatics kits. Now over here I've got my on off switch. If I want to release the air pressure into my two in one piston I'm going to need to turn this on off switch to be on but before I do that I actually need to make sure the program is running on my brain here. Now, as I mentioned that these pistons have been set up differently. If you look at the different valve fittings that I have here that I mentioned before, we have got the gold one at the top of the piston here on piston number one, and on piston number two, the gold fitting is at the bottom. What I'm now going to do is set my on off switch to on, and I'm going to press the buttons on my Vectrobotics controller to actually see how these different pistons behave. So this piston it is very, very slow in coming out, but it's very fast in going in. This piston, very fast in going out, but very, very slow to retract. Now, as I have set these up differently, I can decide if there is a lot of force being applied when the piston is going out, or if there is a lot of force being applied when the piston is coming in. As I mentioned as well, having this Makita pump there is no way to actually monitor the amount of air pressure that is still in the reservoir without having a digital dial. So having a pump with a digital screen is very, very helpful when you are setting up your pneumatics kits and you are testing. Now, this here is just a very, very quick video on how you can set up your SMC pneumatics kits for the over under season and some things that you may want to have a think about. Again, do refer to the knowledge base article. What we're now going to do is head over and have a look at how this has been programmed in C++. Okay, so over here in C++, we're going to take a quick look at this code a minute and have a look at how we have configured our controller. But before we do that, I want to head over to the knowledge base article. What you are going to need here is the solenoid driver cable. This is going to be plugging into the older style ports on the VEX V5 brain. I do believe it is ports A to H. Now, over here, you'll be able to see I've added a digital out. So this is using the free wire port, which you can find at the bottom of the VEX robotic software. And to control the pneumatics, we're going to be using digital out here. Now, configuring the controller is relatively straightforward. So for L1 and R1, once these buttons have been pressed, we want to set the digital out H and G port to both be false. Over here on L2 and also R2, we want these to be set to true, which is going to allow the piston or the double acting piston to then be retract it. Now something to bear in mind when I said that these are both set to true, if you look over here on my GoPro you'll be able to see that we've got 
different valves on these pistons. So although one of them is meant to actually retract it or go out faster than the other, that is going to be very much dependent on the way that you have set up your valves here. So this one is fast to go out, but slow to retract. This one here is fast to retract, but slow to go out. Now, hopefully this very, very quick video on how to set up your pneumatics kit and how to set up a basic program in C++ has been helpful. Do drop me a message underneath this video if you have any questions or have any pointers that you want to give teams using the SMC VEX pneumatics kit for the season ahead. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.